Well, before he was DJ Glency, when did he report? He was Tito. And before we were TVJ, we were JBC. After we were SSTV too. So the two together, and you get Tito in tone. Of course, not many people have seen you in this capacity. No, no, They've no. They've seen you in that capacity. Um, and I'm sure when you walk on the road, people call you Taito. Even get, now. Does it get tiring? Yeah, yeah. You know? After, yeah. what, 20 something years. I know. Yeah. So a lot of folks would not have known that you were not born here. No, actually, you were born no. In England. Yes, yes. And you yes. came to Jamaica when you were eight. A little Todd, about eight years old. Yeah, and when were you bitten by the acting bug first? From about age 15, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Jamaica College at JC. Yes. For, how yes. long ago? For, when was for Robert right? Opus in right. campus. I just want to make sure I have the right <laughs> one because y'all are I very serious that. Yeah. about that. So you got into theatre, mm -hmm. big and serious. I mean, you are a fixture on the landscape now. You have a play, you, you play what? <laughs> Tuesday to. That's the, most, that's the most intelligent I think I've ever seen you look. Even with my glasses now. Even no, with your glasses now. You know, look like yeah, no, no, no. You look studious, you look focused, you look, you know, there's a certain, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is about that picture. Put on a suit Wisdom. and you could easily be a businessman. <laughs> um, so, JC, then what, what, what happened after JC? And after JC, I worked with um, government for a little while mm -hmm. and then I went on to do my public relations studies and I went to telephone company. Okay. And I spent 10 years there in the PR department. So yeah. when did the acting start? Acting started even while still in so school. It was going on yeah. throughout. Yeah, going on throughout. Um, but now it really is your full-time job along with this. Full-time Because acting. your model, Glenn, the Jambis yes. model, is unlike any other model in Jamaica, right? Pretty much so. And um, how does it work? We have a board of directors, there are four of us, myself, Patrick Brown, Trevor Nairn, and Lenford Salmon. And we have decided to take the play business and make it a business. Mm -hmm. We employ some 27 people, um, half of that amount full time. And we try to do theatre year round. Year round. Year round. So while one production is, while one production is playing, mm -hmm. At night time, you might actually be preparing Rehearsing in the daytime one. for yes, the next one, yes, so the continuity yes. is there. And we're working on tours and we're working on doing productions to awesome. schools and SBAs. And so Romeo and Julie school. playing now, but mm -hmm. in, in addition to all of that now, you actually find time for music, yes, this which is you've my always loved. Yes. Because when you were growing up as a young um, lad in England, yes. your parents yes. were heavily into Dad music. Dad loved his music and I'd collect. Well, he collected 45s and I inherited all of those. Mm -hmm. And I just was used to hearing music in the house yeah. every day. Gramophone. Them Gramophone, time. yes. So exactly. you have tone tables, but now you Started from cassette, then went to CD. Yeah, man, you then splice cassette. <laughs> you yeah, 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 yeah. Bit of a, oh, put on the pencil. Oh, else would you have mixed it? Yeah. From C and then to CDs. Yes. And then you started to transfer your transfer music to, to Serato. Mm -hmm. So you MP3. stepped into the age where. The, the, the young cats are now. Uh -huh, Everybody who's uh -huh. serious about their game yeah, now yeah. are using what you're using. But you said you're not really like, you're not going to play a dance hall party. That's not your thing. What um, kind of DJ would you? Would I, you? I'd say I'm more a retro style. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up in the 70s, 80s, so 
that's the music I know. Mm -hmm. But um, also hearing music from my father. So uh, there's some 60s and some 50s. And, you know, but I heard some Patsy Klein. When I heard the Patsy Klein, I was like, wow, I'm yes, listening to some yes. of the genres you're playing yeah. and the kind of fusions you're playing. Mm -hmm. And it suggests to me that your education in the music yes, is yes. very, it's, very it's, sound. It's, it's very far and wide. And honed, well yes. rounded. Yes. And, yes. Um, so what is it about the dance hall? Is it that you don't no, like me, it me, or you don't me, think me, you me, can me, play no, it? No, no. It's just that some of the folks around now are not really up to date. Mm -hmm. When my daughter was growing up, I used to, you know, um, vet the music that she listened mm -hmm. to. So I know some of the 90s, some of the um, early 2000s, but I mean, not really current, current. So I don't want to go to people and party and flap it. So I just say, <laughs> I don't want to do the nowadays thing. <laughs> but you have a 50th birthday, yeah, me that. You yes. have a wedding anniversary, me that. Yes. You know? Dude, you used to manage turntable. Yes, I did of not course. know this. Yes, of course, of course. Are of you course. serious? Of course. I mean. So you're immersed at all different levels. <laughs> yes, I'm a Maritone upbringing. Oh, you know, yes, I didn't see that's, your yes, hat that's there. It. Okay. Turntable. Now, background. did you know that, that this guy used to manage turntable? Yep. Oh, you uh, knew? I'm not say who missed you up there. Um, no, he was a regular, <laughs> so yes, you don't right. have to add it. Um, Amazing. So, do you have like a favorite genre, or does everything fit with um, I I like um, big band music actually. Mm, you like big band. I like big. Can band. you find an example of big band so we can I let the folks I know could. exactly what is big band? So, I tell yes. you about you, his range and the knowledge of the music is fantastic. So now you do like private gigs. Yes, I do private gigs. Um, you need to try a big bashment, Glenn. <laughs> no, no, me, me, me do a big bashment every now and again. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, we just kind of hold it down. Because well, <laughs> after today... Can't make your body a rush. Me well, after, after today, <laughs> that's not going to be a thing because there are people who are going to want to hire you to play um, their parties. Big band, what are we looking for now? Yes. Um, all right, we're going to find a big band right, right now. Okay. So I'll give you something else. We'll just show them a versatility and say... You can manage the thing. I'm with you. Yeah. Foundation music. This is You really go, you really go, real. Yes, man. Pull up. Real and ah, ah, Okay, okay. So, about the collection now? Vast. Vast. Still have your turntables. Still have turntables, still, still have, still have records. records, still have everything. Suppose somebody came to you tomorrow and said, I, I will pay you $10 million for this collection. Yours? J. <laughs> somebody tried to buy a record of you once for £600. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Jay, I'm not so sure. We have to negotiate. We can't get more for it if I sell them individually. I'm if, sure I could if get you them. have what you say you have, then that is a priceless collection. It is. It wow. Is. All right. So if you want to see Glenn in his acting capacity, Romeo and Julie is playing. Let me give you a, mm -hmm. a, a plug at Centre Stage Theatre. At Centre Stage. You play Tuesdays to Tuesdays Sundays. To Sundays. Okay. Tuesdays to Fridays at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Saturdays and Sundays, 5 and 8 p.m. Okay. So what if that's if you want to see Glenn Campbell? In Romeo and Julie. If you want to hire Glenn C to DJ a party. Yeah. Um, wifey is the manager, so um, I have to talk to her and talk to her good because she don't play. Okay. <laughs> in other words, good morning, folks, Max. if you can't afford him, <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't make sense to call. Where does one reach wifey? Um, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram and you can contact me through the theatre as well and okay. leave a message. So just through Jambes. Yes. And Merito. Merito. Facebook where? Facebook, Glenn Titus Campbell. Okay. All right, guys. If you never, if you never know, now you know. The man is multi-talented, <laughs> multi-talented, and he'll be rocking with us throughout the rest of the morning on Smile. Pleasure to have you here. 
You put a smile on our faces just, here. just for being here, even without <laughs> the music, but the music makes it all better. So come back, folks, more on Smile in a Minute.